Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel and also welcome to my new course Angular NGRX. So in this course we will see about the Angular NGRX powerful library so which is mainly used for organizing and managing the state in the Angular application. Okay, so if you are coming first time learning this NGRX means so you should have experience prior experience in the Angular. Okay, if you have experience in the Angular, if you know the concepts of Angular only, then you will be able to understand this NGRX concept. So, if you don't have any prior experience or prior knowledge on the Angular means, so you can go to my earlier course, Angular Complete Course Guide in my channel. So, in the playlist, you will be able to find the Angular playlist. In this one, you can be able to see this Angular Complete Course Guide. So, you will be able to, you will be able to follow this Angular Complete Course Guide. Okay, so if you are familiar with Angular, then only you will be able to understand this NGRX. <coughs> so now what we will see is in this Angular NGRX, this uses a popular Redux, Redux pattern. Okay. So this is mainly used for the managing the state that also the reactive state. We will see reactive state means for communication of the components and all those things. It uses the popular Redux pattern. What is this Redux pattern? So the, the Redux pattern is nothing but if you go to the getting started, so here you will be able to see that inspired by the Redux. So this is a popular pattern. What it will do is it will be used to maintain the three principles. Okay, three, three principles. It will implement the three principles. So how to use the state management. So the Redux pattern uses the three principles. What is this one is maintaining the state and actions and the reducers. Okay, so the, uh, the Redux pattern maintain, so it describes how to maintain the state actions and the Reducer. So this is the popular Redux pattern, and the NGRX also follows the same pattern. So it it it, it, it inspired by the Redux. So it follows the pattern of the state management pattern of the Redux pattern. So it, it also has the red, actions, reducers, and the store. Store means nothing but the state, which mean which has the state. Okay. So now why we want to use this ang Angular NGRX? Now what is the use of this using this Angular NGRX? For example, if you are building large and complex applications, okay, so now you are building a large and big and complex application in the Angular. You, the main thing what you want to do is, it is required that you should properly structure your application, okay. So we need to properly structure our application. Why? Because we need to properly structure our application because of the component communication and also actively managing the application state, okay. So what is that one? So for example, if you have any some data, so that should be reflected in all the other components. So you will be having very big and complex of application means you will be having so many components. So many con uh, components piled up or grouped up, you will be it will become a big application. So now if you are changing one data in any other component means it should actively, uh, it has to actively the components all at, it has to actively respond to that state according to that one. So that you should not have any problem. Okay. So for maintaining those type of component communication and managing the state, state means nothing but the data, okay, so the data. So managing the state, so we will be using this NGRX. So here the NGRX plays a vital role and the NGRX main goal is to managing the state and interacting the application according to the state. So that means it will manage the state. State means nothing but the data what is your application is having, okay. So and interacting the application to the with that state. So interacting application means nothing but the components. So interacting with the components with that state. Okay. So why? Because if your application is becoming bigger and bigger means it is difficult for the component communication. So uh, and also and also the state change. So if any data is changing means so it should it should actively respond to that one. So the for that reason we need to maintain this NGRX. NGRX plays a weight role. Why? Because if it if it the component communication is not there correctly means if you want to add a new features to the applications, it will get a tedious job and also it is a difficult for us to maintain the to add a new features to the application. So this is the reason NGRX is very useful. And a lot of the times we are discussing about the state. What is the state actually? So state is nothing but what I can say is is nothing but the the data what is it having whether you are having the data coming from the database you are having the user data something like user logged in user 
this is also a state so that means data or otherwise if you are if you are filling any use input details for example creating a post or creating an article creating in a category this is also the set of data this is also a state okay so now so this all this all comes under the state so this all state you will be maintaining in one store so each engineer each application will be having one store and that store will be you uh, will be used by the ngrx and ngrx ngrx will maintain that st uh, store and using this redx pattern we will be accessing the data okay wherever you want so this is the nothing but the total uh, what i can say overview of the ngrx so oh, here you will be able to see that rxjs is a global state manager for respect by the redx you will be able to see and here you are able to see the ngrx state management life cycle so what is actually how the ngrx state management life cycle is will be following we will see it in the next video so detailed diagram how the detailed diagram will be having and also we will do some uh, basic tutorial counter to counter tutorial will be there we will be covering each one by one concept using this counter tutorial and and afterwards what we will try to do is we will try to learn about we will try to do one sample application login registration and also the create one crud operation something like create retrieve update delete we will try to do this all application entirely using the ngrx store so we will not use the rxjs or other communication thing we will use only the ngrx store for communication and for maintaining the data everything we will do for simple crud operation with login and registration we will do so by the end of this course you will be familiar you i am sure that you will be familiar how to use the ngrx concept not only here in the react js also the redx pattern also is follows the ones uh, one and the same like this you will be able to understand each and everything okay so let's continue to our uh, new course ngrx course so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you